if the expansion of the universe accelerates at a continued rate and it goes unchecked, the universe will be expanding in 22 billion years. It'll be expanding faster than the fabric of space-time can keep up with it. And it'll just rip. And I'm terrified by this. The James Webb Space Telescope has done it again. Already famous for its breathtaking photographs of the universe, the JWST has discovered carbon dioxide in the atmosphere of an exoplanet, which is crucial for the search of alien life in the universe. Since its launch by NASA over a year ago, the James Webb Space Telescope, the most potent telescope ever built, has captured some stunning photographs. There have been images of dying stars, cataclysmic stellar collisions and even ancient galaxies that have cast doubt on our ability to comprehend the universe as a whole. However, among all the extraordinary discoveries by JWST, it's the study of exoplanets, planets outside our solar system, that have taken the astronomers by surprise. The James Webb Space Telescope has enabled unprecedented views of extraterrestrial skies which has allowed astronomers to enter a new phase in their search for life outside of our solar system. The photographs of deep space revealed with the first James Webb Space Telescope observations in July 2022 were so breathtakingly gorgeous that it was simple to ignore the dowdy-looking graph issued alongside them. The images of the beautiful views of the star-forming clouds of gas and dust as well as the brilliant spiral forms of absurdly far-off galaxies had everyone in awe. However, scientists were astounded by the simple appearing curved line graph. The excellence of this unheard graph shocked astronomers, just as the beauty of some of those deep-field photographs that captivated the public's attention. It became immediately apparent that we can now see into distant galaxies and planets like never before. For them, it was the first evidence that this enormous telescope would be able to offer what many had doubted, the contents of atmospheres on worlds outside of our solar system. Just so you know, exoplanets are hugely important because a large number of these other world planets are mostly present in habitable zones and they orbit their stars at an ideal distance where liquid water can exist for the majority of a planet's lifetime. Habitable zones, such as the one we inhabit, are the best contenders for supporting life because they are more likely to have solid surfaces and oceans with liquid water. The climates of these planets can be deeply stabilized by oceans, providing the stability necessary for the evolution of newly formed life forms. As the search began to find exoplanets, the JWST found an exoplanet named WASP-96b which demonstrated the unmistakable identification of water vapour in its atmosphere. Astronomers were able to see into WASP-39b's details and discovered how this hot and sweltering world came into being. Based on the ratios of carbon to oxygen, potassium to oxygen and sulphur to hydrogen in the planet's atmosphere, the researchers deduced that the gas giant planet must have evolved from collisions of numerous smaller planetesimals. These studies gave astronomers a chance to test out techniques that would be used to find life on other exoplanets. A similar atmospheric analysis to that performed on WASP-39b could be used and compared with other models of extraterrestrial planets. For instance, the presence of more oxygen on the planet than WASP-39b could indicate the presence of life. The most potent space telescope in the world has obtained a previously unseen view of a young star system that may hold hints to the possibility of extraterrestrial life. The astronomers used JWST to observe the whirling disk of gas and dust surrounding J160532, a red dwarf star 500 light years away from Earth that is about 15% as massive as the Sun. J160532 is a baby star in stellar terms because it is only a few million years old, especially given that red dwarfs are thought to survive for trillions of years. These findings provide insight into whether planets that originate around red dwarf stars, which are far smaller and more frequent than stars like the Sun, might be habitable. 
Red Dwarf System's habitability is particularly intriguing because numerous Earth-sized rocky exoplanets have been found orbiting these tiny stars, indicating they may be potential candidates in the hunt for extraterrestrial life. Now, research working under the direction of astronomer Benoit Tabone from Paris-Saclay University have found a peculiar combination of components encircling J160532, including an abundance of carbon and a paucity of oxygen and water. Additionally, the scientists have also discovered benzene and diacetylene for the first time ever in this part of a star system. These significant implications for the composition of developing exoplanets were made clear by the significantly better spectral resolution of JWST compared to earlier telescopes. The recent new JWST photographs also provide the most in-depth view of J160532 yet. The young red dwarf's planet-forming disk turned discovered to be a rich in complex carbon molecules called hydrocarbons. It is worth mentioning that the young disks frequently include simple carbon compounds like carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide, but Tabone's team is the first to observe such a unique hydrocarbon cocktail that contained benzene and diacetylene. All of this led us to believe that we finally have a chance of discovering the minute clues that might indicate the existence of life on another planet. So much to that, astronomers are currently planning their next steps as they have narrowed down the most promising planets and are arranging observing time with JWST to explore their atmospheres while reassessing the likelihood of success and considering what indicators of life they should be looking for. With all these recent findings by JWST, we have started to realize how many of these exoplanets are present in our universe. So far, we have discovered more than 5,300 verified exoplanets orbiting in about roughly 3,900 planetary systems. However, this is only the very tip of the iceberg. To put things in perspective, our Milky Way contains over 100 billion stars. Given that most stars have planets, it gives you an idea of how many exoplanets there might be in our galaxy. Beyond our galaxy, the universe is thought to contain 200 billion galaxies, each with the potential to host hundreds of billions of stars and its own exoplanets. The obvious conclusion from all of this is that there is a good chance that some kind of life do exist somewhere in the universe. In fact, some astronomers believe that the likelihood of discovering life on an exoplanet in the near future is very high. Every decade, a group of specialists are assembled by the National Academy of Sciences in the United States to make recommendations about potential future advances in astronomy that could be explored and where funding should be directed. Two years ago, the main recommendation was to task NASA with creating a space mission to look for biosignature on exoplanets by the year 2040s. It is worth mentioning that whenever it happens, the discovery of life outside our planet will likely be supported by the observation of chemical species ratio imbalances, which would not otherwise occur naturally without perhaps some type of biological activity driving this disequilibrium. However, just to be clear, the discovery of life on another planet does not always imply the existence of an extraterrestrial civilization there, living like we do, or that we will soon be able to establish contact with these life forms. That would take a very long time, but the discovery of presence of another species besides humans in the universe would definitely be a once in a lifetime event. That is it from today's video. We hope you enjoyed the content of the video. If you did, show some love and hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you will never miss out on any of the amazing videos we have in store for you.